Vidify comes with plugins for both Webpack and Vid that enables automatic tree shaking. And what will this will do is just enable a drastical lower build size because it will just automatically add only the component that was using the application into the final build um to our project but what we're going to look at is the vite plugin because that's essentially like the primary bundler at this point for view theory um so that's what we're going to look at so i'm going to cd up and then we're going to create the project so we're going to do noxy in it call it pretty much the same um name as we had before but i'm just gonna add v to the end of this and that creates it so we're gonna cd into the project now and uh, there we go um at this point i'm gonna add all the dependencies at once so we just simplify how we're going to add in going to be adding this so when i do a yarn dev add and we want three different dependencies at this point we want Vidify obviously we want the Vit plugin Vidify and I'm going to also add the fonts or icons or whatever um here as well so we're gonna go ahead and just add all of those all right here we go so now we all, we need to again create a plugins directory because we don't have it and then we're going to create the plugins file or the plugin file for Vidify. And we'll just add our config again. But this config is going to be a lot simpler. So here, good thing we're already here. All we need is our these essentially. So I'm gonna paste this in here. We also need the create Vidify instance or import here so i'm gonna add that as well and then we all we need is here because i would have mentioned um how this goes already but first we need to export the plugin do an export default in here so we're gonna define next plugin we need the next step again you already know what that's for and then we can paste this in here I'm gonna format this a bit again we know what this is for it's good i'm gonna look look at what happens when we don't um when we're in different modes um a little bit from now so let's go ahead and um do the next add view up or next up view up and then use beautify and uh that's it so let's close this out save and um i'm gonna go ahead and configure this now inside of the nox config so essentially what we're doing is tree shaking so let's look at the doc for tree shaking and how we set it up for um nox 3 uh so essentially if we're looking at nox here what we're doing is we're importing vidify from the v plugin and then we're configuring it essentially as a plugins so we're doing an async adding it to the nox hook and all of that um here so essentially we're just extending the v config for us to add the vidify to it and uh, it's kind of pretty much um just this because this is a v config application so it's pretty much just this in a different in the nox way of doing it so what i'm going to do is just copy everything that we have here delete this paste that in and um we are going to get an error here right about here and type error because this is actually could be null so we're going to have a typescript type error so one thing that could be done here is that we could put this nullable um symbol here to check but i've tried this before and it doesn't work so the best option that i've seen so far is just to ignore the error so we can just do ts ignore and that will ignore the error but we'll also get another error because by default um nux 3 or nux in general is ssr by default 
and uh, it's going to be looking for the CSS and all of that while running the server and that's not going to work out all that great for um, Vidify. So what we can do here is just to create a vid config. So um, SSR and what we're doing is no external for um, Vidify. So I think there should be an array here yes so beautify and then we'll just close this out well i need to put a comma there so we're gonna save that and that is pretty much it for our configuration um here um i'm gonna look at a different way as opposed as opposed to doing this and this is when we're not using ssr so if i know well what we need to do is just to have something to actually show that show that this is actually working so let me delete um this and um, we can go to the cards again here i'm gonna look for a different card so this one not github i'm gonna copy all of this paste it in here and then we're going to save that and quit clear this out and then we're going to do a yarn dev so this is running um so we can go over here and we can see the changes already so that is pretty much it for the setup um in the event that you're not using uh what we're going to be editing is the nux config so in the event that you're not using, for example, um, SSR, this is pretty much not going to be needed, or at least this part of it won't be needed. So I'm going to comment this out right now. So, well, actually, I'm going to show you what will happen. So we should get an error here because it's not going to be able to pick up um, uh, the CSS, or that CSS file. But you can see that it, it runs much faster this time around as opposed to the, the other times. So you can see that it's not picking up this file um, here. So what we're going to do at this point is just to show you that if we just go ahead and do uh, SSR falls, this is an option. If you're not using SSR, um, then this will work perfectly fine. So you can decide at the end of the day which one of these you would like to use. But that pretty much the installation is pretty much covered. This is just optional um, additional information. All right, if I refresh this, you can see that that is it. So it works perfectly fine. So in most instances, what I would recommend that you do is to actually just um, leave this in here because it will work regardless um the config is is fine regardless so you can just leave this i don't think it really um does much uh, difference so um it's really up to you which one of them you want to choose so that is pretty much um it for it so there is a write-up on federal education for this so i'll leave the link in the description for you to go ahead and check that out so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one